and welcome back to White Mountains today. We have Paula Graham, our good friend from Zeb's General Store. Paula, it's been too long. It has been too long. Do you always long. come on Sundays? Is that why I never see you? Yeah, Are you I think so. Me? No, <laughs> no. It's the, the, the day that's open. And Saturday yeah. mornings are really busier than Sunday it mornings is. over yeah, there. Also so. here and there. Yeah. And uh, you guys are always ramped up, though. I mean, every time I'm it in is. there, I'm glad I'm in there. But you guys have quite a following. That we do. Come every do. time they come into the Mount Washington Valley, they go to Zeb's. We're truly blessed. We have people that come in from Skowhegan once a month because it's their monthly event that's yeah. what they do they just they go to zips once a month from skowhegan maine that's a hike how far is that like i don't even know probably three hours oh my gosh it's that's like, crazy yeah. so they go in there you have what a 60 or is it 60 or 70 foot 70 candy foot counter. long 70 foot candy counter with stuff that you just don't see anymore you got you know the wax bottles and the dots that you see, and I remember lips, when as a kid. And the now lips the mustaches, of course. I don't know what the, what's with the mustaches. I don't remember them as a kid. <laughs> the, awesome. the lips and the, the strips of dots, which when we were kids yeah. we called pills. If you call them pills now, oh, they God. probably... Yeah, no, that wouldn't, that wouldn't yeah. fly these days. Yeah. But uh, yeah, some of my favorite candies, but you also have these you know, well-done gourmet chocolates, uh, the turtles and yeah. stuff like that, or dark chocolate, milk chocolate, all kinds. Yeah. So. It takes pretty much half an hour just to walk down the candy counter. You got to take your time. There's something in every nook and cranny on that counter. Chocoholic heaven. <laughs> it is. And But let's switch gears a little bit because you sort of fell onto the pumpkin wagon here and it right. follows right around the corner. And Zeb's, of course, is well stocked for that season Absolutely. as well with lots of New England products um, as well as from across, like sort of the eastern seaboard, you pull sure. in whatever's cool. Um, so let's start talking about what you brought. Okay, so today, starting off with the pumpkins, I went pumpkin, apples, cranberries. We've got a pumpkin, mm -hmm. uh, I brought corn chowder also. It's a fallish, oh. fallish thing. And pumpkin risotto with cranberries. Do you what? like risotto? I've never had risotto. You've ne oh, it's time consuming to make. To stir, you know, you have to get it creamy, but it's a special I think that's rice. Probably, I've been intimidated. Yeah, but don't be. It works. It, you can do it. Oh. <laughs> Pumpkin risotto with rice. And that's a really nice side dish. And for, for some people that don't like mashed potatoes on Thanksgiving, that might be a nice side. I don't like mashed potatoes. You know, and that so could, that's you know. Hmm. Then we have our pumpkin chowder, one of our bigger sellers. Yeah, if you see I, on that I, screen oh, there. To hold them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm just, just going to leave them yeah, down there. Keep Hans happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pumpkin chowder, and that whips up in in about 30, 35 minutes. A pumpkin chowder. Yeah. Is that like a sweet, spicy? What is that? It's it's sweet and spicy. Huh. Because yeah, that's dehydrated pumpkin in there, and then there's all the the spices, uh, you know, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, yeah. and all of that ground up. And so up. you just pour that into you the pot. Put it in. You have broth. You can use water or broth. I always use broth. It gives her a richer taste. Mm. And you bring it to a boil, and then you turn it down to a simmer for like 35 minutes. Mm. And at the end, to make it a chowder, you add, um, it says here, cream. The, the difference between soup and chowder is the cream, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the dairy. So what I do, instead of using cream, I use fat-free um, evaporated milk. Mm. It's got a heavier texture than milk. It's got the creamy texture, but none of the ramifications for your health. Really? You know, so the high fat Artery clogging stuff. cream and yeah. all of that. Okay. So we do that, and it's quite delightful. We sample this during the fall and the mm. chilly days. We watch the weather, and we know if it's going to be a chilly day, we'll set up to have mm. uh, serve the chowders. Now, is this something that you could also put in a crock pot? Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, and exactly. keep it on. But crock pots and electricity and me with the high electricity rates, <laughs> I'd rather stand by the gas stove and stir. <laughs> okay. And then I have a pumpkin apple crisp, a pumpkin crisp mix from Halliday Farms. And what, what do you do with that? You, you just put it in it the pie? directions. No, it's pumpkin crisp like apple crisp. Okay. So pumpkin pie filling for the recipe, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So add you some, do it over a pie you, plate. No, you, do, you, you stir it in the pumpkin pie filling and you add um, the butter or margarine. Oh, okay. And you sprinkle. Uh, this is the pumpkin pie filling according to the directions and then you take this oh, package okay. so that as the gourmet with the butter in that okay. and that's the topping okay it's got all the spices Ooh, okay and cranberry orange oh I thought that was the pumpkin we do have pumpkin muffins and I pulled the wrong orange that's all right cranberry thing. cranberry still orange you're still on the theme and we got I brought a pumpkin face oh, lollipop so cute okay you have to there do this <laughs> Hans very good Vanna and Side Hill Farms maple pumpkin butter 
maple, pumpkin butter. Is that on toast? What do you use that for? Anything. Toast, English muffins, mm. scones, mm. scone time. I am so hungry. And then for something <laughs> in the kitchen. I smelled this, folks. spice. Okay, so good. It's like a spicy. Here? I think we're running out of room, so you can hold that now. Okay. Yeah. Pumpkin spice soap from um, Sweetgrass Farms in Greenland, New Hampshire, mm. down near the coast there. And this here is comes a nice, Hans, what yeah. am I doing? That's all right. No, just right keep place. talking. He'll okay. do whatever. And then we have this, Fly with smell it. this candle. They, they have a soy candle. Gonna make, I'm going to eat it. Pumpkin spice. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, it really is nice. Th those, mm. those are nice to have in the house. Oh. And of course we have our pumpkin butter. Nice. Maple, this is, it's just as plain pumpkin butter, not maple. I, yeah, I'll have to stop by because I've never had like a pumpkin butter yeah. or anything like that. It's, so it's, we're going to pump it's it It's almost, it's a sweet and savory, mm. you know, because these are no sugar added butters. Oh, good. The, these, the, all no the sugar. yellow label, Zeb's, May I see? Zeb's labels are no added sugar. So pumpkin, sugar, or you say no added sugar? Well, he always says no added sugar <laughs> on them. I guess he puts sugar in this one. No, Probably maybe it's artificial sugar. or artificial this sugar. This might be brown too. sugar okay. for the um, Pumpkin sugar, color. apple cider, and spices. So yeah. you know exactly what's going into that. Yeah. And you know what? To tell you the truth, as long as it's not artificial sugar, right. I'm good with it. Yeah. Because it's hard to get away from the aspartames and the saccharins and whatever they're putting in there now. And all those things so that this is the sheet things of your nerve endings. All what? of those aspartame really? things. That's really? a problem. Yikes. Yeah. I knew they weren't good, but I didn't know they did Okay, that. and then we have a cider donut mix. Mm. He, he's probably you can make your own cider, cider donuts. donuts. That's cider donut mix from the okay. um, what do you, uh, cider company. The cider de company down in Glen. Yeah. So you add this to a mixing bowl, hot cider. Just, just set them down, is he saying? Oh, I just want, I don't want to put it down. I want to eat it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> deep fryer or oil heated to 350 degrees. One right. to two minutes per side, deep golden brown, and enjoy. That's right. Awesome. And I brought some, because it's also apple time. Okay. Um, spiced apple syrup that you could put on cinnamon apple pancakes or waffles. Mm. Mm. And uh, instead of maple syrup. Okay. But they both work. Awesome. And, of course, apple crisp. Mmm. Now is this, this is another like another, a pie you thing? Just to add apples. Okay. All the directions all right. are on it. It's really, really easy to do. And of course, maple syrup for breakfast. If you maple don't maple syrup, of course. We're driving you crazy, aren't we? No, it's all right. No, it's just the just leave it in point. Okay. Well, we can't hear you with all the word. Yeah. I can't. That's okay. Just go for okay. it, Paula. Okay. Cranberry yeah. apple scone and muffin mixed, and that's. A really nice fallish right. taste because I could eat cranberry apple, mm. cranberry orange anytime. We eat now we have good for you. a cranberry orange popcorn over there. It's delicious. Ooh, chocolate, so milk chocolate covered and dark chocolate covered cranberries. Mm. And the bog frogs, that's a nice hostess gift if somebody invites you to mm. supper. And the nice big box and those small bog frogs. It's a nice snacky thing to have with yeah. you while you're hiking. And um, it's like a turtle, only instead of nuts and caramel and chocolate it's cranberries and caramel and chocolate Ooh, and that sounds delicious delish yeah and it, where it gets uh chilly yeah You're this still black bean salsa from stonewall kitchen that is um if you ground do some ground turkey or ground beef and do, yeah. you know pour it off add that in and heat it up that is the best instant chili that if somebody if the kids are hungry and you go oh my god oh my god you know Instant chili. Yeah, that'd and be great to bring to a like a barbecue type thing yep. as a side dish as well. Well, we'd mm. serve it as over there. We heat it up and we put um, smoked cheddar cubes into it, mm. melt them into it. Jeez. And so, what a Can hot, I just nice come hot hang out dip. With you, Paula? Come, come hang out at the bar. <laughs> Actually, Kim will be at the bar today. I don't know what she's doing today. I'm, I'm on the floor. Awesome. And uh, all right, so we thought we have these new Westminster Bakers snack crackers. Right. And these are the, they have Chipotle Ranch, these are the mm. Parmesan Peppercorn, and they're really kind of nifty. They're spicy? Uh, the, the Peppercorn isn't, but the, the Chipotle one, oh, but yeah? nice, <laughs> nice cracker thing. Awesome. And if you're out <laughs> hiking, you want, of course, to take some Zeb's Kettle Corn. Kettle Corn, very popular yes. with the kiddos, too, right. nice and sweet uh, to that. Yeah. And then, of course, the Margarita, uh, or no, Bloody Mary. The Bloody Mary me. mix, which I was bringing for a, a trivia question that oh. I forgot to think about, so... You have a oh, vault you want to one give from away. Vault? Okay. And, All right. Uh, Let's finish I, up with this. What I took those? some this maple habanero dip. People went hoopy for it. We almost ran out yesterday. Just fabulous. But I was thinking, where this time of the year you start to make a roast 
things like that. That, if you put it in, um, you put some mustard on the ham, mm. always, and then put that in, and then pour a little more maple syrup over it. But won't the habanero be a funny kick? Mm. Uh, but it's, it, it's really tasty. Delicious, it sounds good. That on a ham, mm -hmm. and then we have the roasted garlic and rosemary seasoning, which everybody loves with the cream cheese as a spread. Okay. That, after you oil um, a, a roast a ham or a lamb, a, a roast beef or a lamb, sprinkle that on, and put it in the oven. I mean, the bears come up to your windows. The neighbors come to your windows. Can I come to supper? Take that a, would be me, Paul. A couple of tablespoons know. into yeah. a big Ziploc bag where you've cut up some potatoes. Okay. You know, quarter some small yeah. potatoes for roasted potatoes. Little olive oil? A couple of tables of olive oil, olive oil, a couple of tablespoons of that. Shake the potatoes up. Let them be in the bag even overnight. And then the last hour you put the roast in. Throw the potatoes around the rack. Is that like a hot temperature or a medium? What are you looking at for temperature? Like 400 to roast oh, that? Oh, God, no. It's for the last hour, 350. Okay. When you're roasting right. your beef or your lamb. All right. And mm -hmm. um, All right. the I'm lamb cooks over. fast, so. Okay. But that, the most, I call them Lou Conway's deadly potatoes. They're so delicious. <laughs> That's wonderful. You know? All right. So, do you want to do the watch win now or do you want us to do after? Sure, do it's a totally watch up to win you. now. Why okay. not? Awesome. And I'll take this home and they can come and pick it up at Zed's. Perfect. That's easy enough. And then they can check out all home the other Zed's. items as well. So, it's going to be the same rules apply, though. One win per 30 days per household. So, you gave everyone a chance to win okay. this awesome stuff. Before we do that, could you I bet. welcome one of your family to my family? Of course. Emily Lamaru from your business office. She's now my daughter daughter-in-law and Yay. her son Dominic's now my grandson. Oh. Do I look like a Grammy? Oh, what? Yeah, oh, good. Congratulations. So welcome, Emily, honey. To welcome to my family. Aww. She married my son Mark last Saturday up at Whitney's That's Inn. Wonderful. And it was a blast. Oh, good. And she well, was most congratulations beautiful to the happy couple then. Yeah. Um, and the happy right. Grammy. Yeah, absolutely. And mother-in-law. <laughs> we get a song too. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the phones. Uh, and you want us to do a trivia question? Yeah, because. Okay. Too busy to think of one. You brought enough stuff. That's yeah. okay. We we can handle the trivia question. So again, one win per thirty days per household. Your answer must match our answer, even if we're incorrect. And you must pick up your prize at Zeb's within thirty days of winning. Uh, we need a question, Hans. Yeah. All right, so 356-6619 is a number that you can call, and you're going to be pulling home. And actually, I bumped into one of our watching winners that pulled home the last uh, Bloody Mary mix. Loved it. Yeah, good. Yeah, they so I was, because I saw it here, and I was like, ooh. I wasn't sure if I already had the vodka in it, but that is just, oops, that is just the mix. So, okay, right. here we go. To the phones we go. Do we have our trivia question? We do. What state has the highest peak in the lower 48? Okay, here we go. Good morning, caller. What is your guess? What state has the highest peak in the lower 48? Guess a state. Colorado. Colorado, great state. Not the right answer, though. Try again. What are they, Googling it? They might be. They might be Googling it. No Googling. <laughs> That's right. There's a lot of states, and if they don't Google it, you might be here for another hour. That's okay. All right, so what state caller has the highest peak in the lower 48? Hello? Tennessee. Tennessee, incorrect. Try again. All right. We're back to the phones for the Zeb's favorite Bloody Mary mix, non alcoholic. What is your guess? Hot and spicy. It's hot. This is California. California. Well, if you say California, I'm saying Bloody Mary mix coming your way. Congratulations. What's your name? My name is John. Well, John, you just picked up. The Zeb's favorite Bloody Mary mix. So congratulations on that. And John, you're going to be picking that up at Zeb's, but stay on the line because we're going to get your information so we enter you to win the Thule bike rack. Lucky at the end of the yeah, luck, John. I know. So, John, hang on, okay? Thank you very much. You're very welcome. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break. Paula, thank you so oh, much as welcome. always. It's a pleasure. Fun. And congratulations on the yeah. new family form uh, last weekend. So that's yeah. pretty exciting news. And folks, you can find Zeb's right on Main Street in North Conway Village and also online, of course, you can order your favorite products from Zeb's.com, correct? D yes, Zeb's.com. Okay, wonderful. Thanks again, Paula. Folks, we'll be back. More Watch and Win and Weather coming your way. The way it was is the way it is at Zeb's General Store, the ultimate New England experience. 
feel what it was like to be a kid back when candy counters stretched 70 feet long and were filled with chocolate and fudge, penny candy by the pound, and old-time favorites you haven't seen in years. Explore two floors of delicious and unique specialty foods, toys, clothing, bath and body, and more. Unique, quality products from cottage-based companies right here in New England. Zeb's General Store is in the center of the community in more ways than one. Reinvesting in village beautification and supporting community nonprofits. When you shop at Zeb's, you